Over gang, it's your girl Maya, and it's your boy Danny here. And we are back with another Yummy Takeover video. Indeed, we are. We are back. But before we get into this video, make sure you start what you're doing, like this video, comment down below, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to our channel, we come with new content every Tuesday and Thursday, and you don't want to miss it. And don't forget, share this video with somebody you love. Yes, sir. What are we so, I don't know if y'all be on TikTok, like, like I'll be on TikTok, but like some days I just have just TikTok days. Just, it just depends. Y'all, Bella is over there eating that girl. Just stay hungry. Oh, anyway. But anyway, so there was this trend. We're, we're a little late on the trend. We still gonna try it. We're gonna let y'all know how it is. Cause you know, we need some of us, of us trying these trends. But anyway, so it is the, the viral TikTok pasta chip trend. So we're gonna try it today. We're gonna do two different types of pasta chips. We're gonna do a savory one and a sweet one. So, I'm interested to see how this one Me too, cause I love potato chips, I do. But we're gonna get to this video, we're gonna get to this kitchen, and we're gonna let y'all know. And we're gonna let y'all know how it come out. <laughs> Boom. All right, you guys, so we are going to start over here. We have uh, Linda. Yeah, I remember Linda. Linda's been featured in the uh, couple of our videos. So Linda's over here. She is heating up some water for us for this pasta. So I'm gonna go ahead and, just like with any other pasta, I'm gonna heavily salt this water. Got a little sea salt here, you know, natural sea salt or whatever for the And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of olive oil just to help uh, the pasta to keep from sticking. So let that do what it do. And then the pasta that we're gonna be using today is rotini. Rotini. Um, the reason why I got these is because one of the flavors that we're gonna be doing is barbecue chips, and I thought about the uh, the barbecue. The little Pepsi. twisty thing. Right, the little Frito twisted twisted barbecue. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't know what they call it. The little twisties. So we have a full pound of pasta, 16 ounces. Um, so each of the little things we're gonna separate it eight ounces and. Um, eight ounces, because you know, eight plus eight equals 16. We know math, come on, math. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the pasta in here. The water's been, been heating up. And you're just gonna let your pasta cook according to the directions that's on the box, whatever um, it says. This says 20 minutes, so we are going to see how that's gonna go. I'm gonna get a little spoon, stir this pasta. Let's spoon. Let's spoon, stir the pasta around. And then I can tell y'all a little bit more about how we're gonna season them. So I mentioned that we're going to do uh, one barbecue. I have our seasonings over here. So this is my dad's barbecue rub. I can't tell y'all what's in it. I might have to kill y'all because he would kill me. Um, anyway, so I have two tablespoons of that. So for the eight ounce of pasta, you wanna have about, depending on what kind you're doing, sweet or savory, about, um, not tablespoons, about two teaspoons of seasoning all together. So I have that here. And then the sweet version that we're gonna be doing is like a churro style. I saw somebody on the internet say it's basically just a, a, a Taco Bell uh, churro swirl thing. What the, what the thing's called? You, you eat them. I don't eat Cinnamon twists. The cinnamon twistises. <laughs> anyway. I like them things. So I have here, I have two uh, teaspoons of light brown sugar and then I have um, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then after the pasta, y'all look at Bella. I swear Bella is like, oh, they feel when I'm just gonna go eat. Every time. It Literally play. every video she's <laughs> got her, she can go there and eat. So what we're going to do is once the pasta is done boiling, we're gonna strain it, then I'll season it, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop it into the air fryer. So we'll step over here and we'll say hello to the other Bella in our life. You know, second Bella. Hey, Bella. And then we're gonna air fry it. We'll air fry it for about 10 to 12 minutes. Also, we can talk about this. Uh, some people have asked us about where we got our air fryer from. And some people have also asked about the Dutch oven too. So what we will do is we will link uh, to Amazon both the air fryer and the Dutch oven in the description of this. So if you're interested in buying either one of those, just check, just check the description down there and you will see the link to those on Amazon and then you can purchase them and then you'll be just like us. You'll have your Dutch oven, you'll have your air fryer and then look. We you could try out these recipes that we For have. real, because y'all, we be eating well. Eating it's well. giving. 
is giving what? Exactly. Eating well. Come on. Okay. But anyway, we are going to wait on this pasta uh, to be cooked and then we'll be back with you guys. Bye. All right, y'all, so we're back. We're gonna season these up and get these into the air fryer. Uh, what I forgot to mention is that with your pasta, you want it to be a little under al dente like we would usually cook pasta because it's gonna continue to cook in uh, the air fryer, but we're gonna get into this thing. So I have, I cooked 16 ounces of pasta in total. I have about eight ounces here. I didn't measure it exact because anybody got time for it. Um, so I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna do a teaspoon of olive oil. Uh, said there because hmm, I'll do too. I don't want to be dry out here in the spirit. Um, we don't like dry. Mm -mm. Gonna mix that in. Also be careful because this pasta is still hot and I'm gonna go ahead and take my seasonings. That's that barbecue, that barbecue rub that there. We'll go ahead and get that in. And you just wanna mix it, that's it. It's a little seasoning. Sorry, we're about to see. A little more. It might. Mm. I'm trying to go by my little friend measurements. Friend, don't don't lead me astray. She might. Feel like friend lead you astray. I see that. Ain't this coming together? I might add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Add a little more. <laughs> we like to lick our fingers after a chip or two. You 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 very right. You're right. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just speaking for the people, AKA me, the people. <laughs> and how much more did you add? About three fourths of a tablespoon, not a teaspoon, like I said before, tablespoon. You're looking like a leak after. Right. So maybe what, instead of doing, so I did two tablespoons for, you know, just trying it. So I, so then go ahead and do two tablespoons. Do two tablespoons of seasoning, because that look, that look well seasoned. What that was before was, I'm not gonna talk about nobody culture, but that was what well seasoned. All right, so we have this here. Huh? I know. Well, it's not rico. It smells so good. So we're gonna step over to, uh, to Bella May. No, Bella May is a dog. This is Bella. Uh, we're gonna get this into the air fryer here. Oh yeah, so we got this into the air fryer. You want to cook it on 400 degrees, so I have it on 400 there, and we're gonna cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes. What's important to remember with this is that you wanna uh, open the air fryer and shake it a couple of times throughout just to make sure that all of the, uh, the chips in there cook evenly. So, see y'all in 10 to 12 minutes. All right, y'all, so we're back. We have the, the barbecue pasta chips in the air fryer. I think they're about halfway done. We're gonna go ahead and season up the the sweet ones. So the difference with this, the first one we did olive oil. With this, we're actually gonna do coconut oil. So I'm gonna take about um, about a tablespoon of coconut oil. Okay, this is gonna be the last bit of coconut oil. Sometimes you know you gotta use your last. But that what Mary says is that you don't know the cost of the oil from my alabaster box. Well, you don't know the cost of my uh, my coconut oil. But anyway. So we got that. I adjusted the seasons because I think Fran left, left me a strike. So I added an, uh, an extra teaspoon of cinnamon and I added like an extra teaspoon and a half of brown sugar. So we have that there. So mix this early in, let that get all nice and melty. And still be careful because this pasta is still hot. The cinnamon smells really good. It's gonna sell, guys. Sell, yeah. I mean, okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this in here. I hope that's enough. We're gonna see. Oh, that cinnamon does smell good. I just got a whiff. Thank oh. you, Lord. Oh, yes, God. That looks like uh, Like what? Oh, I was just gonna say it looks like more than. Like that seasoning looks like more than uh, the first one. Yeah, because I, I went and I added some more to it. Try some of these chips and like they don't want to share their seasoning. Definitely cold. Like, we ain't gonna talk about it. 
<laughs> you so stupid. It was the last for me. All right, we got that you in the comments. <laughs> Sometimes you need a progression in the spirit. Okay, a chord progression, a life progression. It's something about when you just end a worship song on a four chord. That's it right there. All right, y'all. So we have this season that we're going to go check on those barbecue chips. So follow me. We're going to go check on them. Give them a follow stir. me, camera. Give them a little stir. Yes, yeah, so they got about, about four minutes left. So they, okay, get a little crispy. Okay. Give them a little crunch on them or whatever. We're going to put them back in there. Let it do what it do. Mm -hmm. Everything. And everything. All right, you guys. So our um, barbecue, our barbecue chips are done. We're not gonna try them. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. I did touch. I did touch. I just wanted to make sure they was crispy. I did, and I put them back in there for two more minutes. Fran just led me astray. Or maybe Fran got a different air fryer because I had to put ours in there for 14 minutes instead of 10 to 12. So put yours in there for 12 to 14. Just be aware. I'm not going. I'm not going to trash talk Fran because that's not of God. But now we're going to put our, um, our sweet chips in there. They've been seasoned. Uh, I'm just, I already cleaned the air fryer. I'm just letting some of the water that's in there just evaporate. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in there and then we're gonna get to the taste test because I'm excited. Let's go. Again, these are going in there at 400 for about 12 to 14 minutes. Turn the pan I don't know what I'm doing because... A few moments later. All right, y'all. So, these are done. One thing that I didn't mention that I did do, uh, so for the... The brown sugar cinnamon ones, I sprinkled them with a little bit of just white sugar once I was done. And then with these, the barbecue ones, I, <laughs> I just, uh, I sprinkled them with just a little bit of salt just to finish them off. So we are going to do a taste test. We have not tried them, nothing. The only thing I did was fill them just to make sure they were crispy because I like, I like a crispy chip. I love a crispy chip. So we gonna try them, you wanna try the barbecue first? So let's pray, let's I pray. I love you wanna try them. You gonna pray, lead us in prayer. Be our intercessor, petition the Lord for us. Why Thank you smelled you. it? It's all right. Thank you, Lord, for this day, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for allowing us this opportunity to make these chips, well, Daniel. Lord, I just hope that they're good because I don't want to throw them away, Lord. I don't want to throw them away, but anyway, we experiment, Lord, but. We thank you and we praise you and we bless you for this opportunity. And we just ask that you'll be in this video. Yeah. And Lord, let this be good because they ain't really did, you know. Anyway, Lord, I, I don't want it. I don't want this voice bell to be too long, Lord. So just thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm still trying to figure out what I did. Huh? What I did. I couldn't get my words together. I see that. <laughs> Come on. So what did you want to try these first? Yeah, they hot still. And it was a little warm. Mm -hmm. It's a little warm. Okay. This is the, the the cinnamon yeah, toast cinnamon. crunch. Not cinnamon toast crunch, yeah, but just look at it though. It's a little dark. Crunchy? Yeah, here comes Bella. Uh, they low key do taste like cinnamon toast crunch. I didn't want to post some milk in the bowl. Wait a minute. Come <laughs> on. Mm. It tastes, it really tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. I feel like it could, it could use a little bit more cinnamon and sugar. I will say that. But, that one I had was, was very good. Really? Yeah. With the one? Mm. Mm. It don't taste like chips, it tastes like syrup. Right. 
Oh, uh, look. Y'all see them on our Instagram for us for breakfast in the morning. The last one I had with my, with the crispy all the way. What? Mm. 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 I like, I like that. Mm. Mm. Oh, let's taste my palate. Let me a little coffee here. Coffee. Oh, you so proud because you said one word in Spanish. All right. We're going to try the barbecue. These better be good because these are my favorite chips. Mm -hmm. You don't like it? What? Taste like, it's not giving what it need to give. Yeah, but no. But yeah, it tastes like, you know the little check mix bag? They got the little different assortments of things in there. It, it tastes, tastes like, like something, something that'll be in there. It got a little spark yeah. to it. Like, with this oh, one. Oh, that one I just had, it tastes like check mix. Mm, it tastes like, like, I wouldn't necessarily eat this by itself, but like, if I had a Dorito. Yes. Uh, um. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to eat one more. It does have a little spice kick. Mm -hmm. I don't know why for the barbecue one. It's like I really wanted them to taste like the little barbecue too. It's I know. so bad. I know. But it's a totally different taste. But mm -hmm. I guess it just depends on like what barbecue rub or what barbecue seasoning you use for it. Right. Might have to look up that seasoning that I use for a barbecue twist. I'm just gonna put that back there and I'm gonna put it. Well, y'all look. Yeah, if I had to choose a favorite, it's it'll good. be the, the cinnamon. It's good. And I'll get at a, 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 a seven and a half. Okay, I'll get and it like a, a five. I'll get it like a five. Because it's not, it's not bad. You just need to eat it with something else. All right. Like and a handful of. I ain't going to lie. You, you hit it on there. That was with some Doritos. Man, I'll hit them up. I would. I would. I have to go get a little bag and just. Little nachos. Shake, 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 shake. Make a little homemade cheese Look, mix. But y'all, y'all try these for y'all selves and let us know how y'all feel. Just try it in your air fryer. Pop it in there. 400 for. 12 to 14 minutes. If you don't have an air fryer, we'll pop the link to ours in the description. We'll also pop the link to the Dutch oven. So you can try it for yourself. But before you go, make sure you like this video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. Share this video with somebody you love because they're not a part of the Takeover Gang. What are you if y'all not watching me, Maya, and Bella. What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you do with your time? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so. We're going to sign off, and we will catch y'all next time. We'll be back every Tuesday and Thursday. Yes. Bye.